Hi, I'm back with another video, and this time is uh, what we did for Sunday. Um, Carol reminded me on Friday when we went to Ollie's about going to another um, antique uh, open house thing they were doing for Christmas. We went on Friday to one of them, and it wasn't really that great. We They really didn't have any Christmas decorations. They didn't really have any Christmas-inspired stuff, mostly just pink Christmas trees. And you couldn't tell it was an open house. And so we were both like, okay. So this time she reminded me and I almost forgot about it. And so after all the rain and all the thunderstorms we had and the tornado warnings and watches. Um, and then it, you know, it, it rained some of the morning and then it stopped. And then she texted me and asked me if I was still interested. I said, yeah. She asked me if I wanted to go early because we started out, we were going to go at 1030 because they opened up at 11. And then she found out they were giving away a goodie bag. And so she was like for the for like first 25 people. And so she asked me if I wanted to go and I said, yeah, I'm early. And so then it rained a little bit and then it stopped. And then we headed out I went next door about probably 945. And then we headed out and as we were heading down the highway, it started storming really, really badly. She couldn't see. I started thinking, you know, I started telling her we need to probably move, try to get off the highway and wait it out a little bit to see if it kind of calm down some but everybody was trying to slow down and everybody was turning their flashers on and trying to get through the highway with all the storm coming through there and finally it stopped and we got to the antique store I, I couldn't remember what antique store it was that we had gone to before and she was like yeah and when we got there and I recognized the building I'm like oh okay and um so we got there we got in line we ended up there I think 10 17 we were in the parking lot she asked me if it looked like there was 25 people yet i said no um i'd seen some lady walk up there and then i don't know if she stayed in line or she moved somewhere else because i don't remember seeing her after that and so we got in line and then there were a bunch of people after us and i remember one woman counting and she said it was a total of 17 people at that moment and so i don't know how many people ended up being when we went in but while we were standing there santa came by he was going inside um somebody was bringing in some food and so they we got our little goodie bags and we went inside and they had a raffle I don't think I won anything because I didn't get any phone calls from them from their giveaways um I missed getting a photo with Santa I was so disappointed I was like where's Santa I guess he was on break having his Mrs. Claus must have told him to have some food besides cookies and so I'm like, next year, because I'm like, do they do this every year? And they said, yeah. So I'm like, next year I'm coming back up here with me and Carol. And I'm like, I'm going to get a picture with Santa as soon as I see Santa. Because I was like, I really wish I had gotten a picture with him. And so I was a little disappointed. But we we had fun. We walked all around there. And they had told us that in the break room they had snacks for everybody. They had a little snack thing. So we went, and we went up there. to. We also found out they had a bathroom we didn't know about when we went back there. We're like, did we ever make it back here in this place? We both realized we don't think we did. It's because we didn't know they had a bathroom. And so the bathroom wasn't that far away from the break room. So we went in and they had all kinds of food. They had sandwiches. I tried the little pinwheel sandwiches for the first time. They had all kinds of assortment of cookies and cakes. And they had crackers and they had, um, you know, little olives and little pepperonis and little little thingy snacky foods and all kinds of stuff and lots of drinks and I tried to get as much as I could so they wouldn't have to take nearly as much food home with them so I ate I got myself a plate and then I went back and I threw my plate away and went back in and got a few more things got another pinwheel sandwich and then we walked around and I knew I wasn't gonna probably buy anything because I really didn't have any money you know for that kind of stuff probably couldn't afford anything and so we walked around and we had, we were both like, it's so nice in there. Had all kinds of Christmas decorations. They had the Christmas stuff out. Um, it was so much fun. Everybody was, you, know, you start seeing everybody going, oh yeah, there's snack food. And everybody heading to the break room. And then we were, I think we must have been the first people done or something. Because Carol bought, she bought something. And I guess we were the first people. And they were like, yeah, that's a cookie. You must know what you wanted. And it was like, no, nah, we were just walking around and she found something. And so then after we got done with the antique store, um, open house, we came home, we, we went to Wendy's. I know I went to Wendy's on Friday when we went to Ollie's, but my dad said he wanted to try the SpongeBob, 
uh, the Krabby Patty Burger. And he said he's seen the commercial and he goes, okay, it's kind of grown on me. So I decided to get that. So we both got one. And so I got us both one. I got the pineapple frosty and I got him a chocolate frosty. And we both said it tasted pretty good. We both liked it. It looked nothing like what the pictures and the commercials were showing. And I told him, I said, yeah, I did see where somebody said that. It didn't look anything like the pictures or the commercial. And so here's my goodie bag. So I have a bag here that I can reuse. So they gave us a little jingle bell. A little antique jingle bell. Carol, the first thing I saw when they handed me the bag was the nutcracker here. Carol asked me, she asked me if I'd seen what was in there, and I said, I saw the Nutcracker, and she said, so did she. So she said she got a very first Nutcracker. I love Nutcrackers. They gave us some peanut M&M's, some Ghirardelli, this was dark chocolate, sea salt caramel, oh, I already eaten it. And then they gave us the Ghirardelli peppermint bark, as you can see, I already ate that. They gave us hot tamales. Um, a little Snickers, a little Milky Way. I told Carol, I figured when they said they were giving us gift bag, or goodie bag, I figured it would be some candy. Maybe some cookies or something. So I'm like, they oh, they outdid themselves on this open house, unlike that one on Friday that you couldn't tell was an open house. I mean, they did really good with this open house with Christmas decorations, Santa, snack foods, goodie bag, um, giveaways. That you could be, you know, could win. I was like, they did really good on this. It, it's exactly what you think an open house was. They gave us a little Slim Jim. They gave us a little hand cream. And then they gave us this cute little antique cookie cutter. I thought that was just so cute when I pulled that out. And then they gave us a little old-fashioned game. Looks like soccer. So I thought that was so cute. I was like, oh my gosh, a little game. And then they gave us, let's see if I can get it to, what's it? A flashlight. I didn't want to blind anybody or mess anybody up. Well, it's a lot brighter than I thought it would be. And then they gave us a little, um, little screwdrivers. I was like, it's little screwdrivers. And of course, the most exciting thing for me when Carol asked me if I'd seen this yet, and I said no. And when I opened it up and pulled it out, I was like, it's a little retro vintage deer. I was like, oh my gosh, I've been wanting one of these little vintage deers, vintage retro deers, ever since I saw that, you know, people were buying them at like um, Hobby Lobby in the pink and the blue. And every time I see them, I always end up missing it. So I'm never able to get it. And so I was so disappointed whenever I can't find them. And when I saw this was in there, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanted one of these. It's so cute. It's, it feels all fuzzy. So I really am excited. I really love everything in this little goodie bag. We had so much fun. Oh, they also gave us a $5 gift card, which shocked me. Me and Carol were like, they gave us a $5 gift card. I said, I thought, wonder how many people didn't realize there was a gift card in there and could have used to tour stuff. So we were like, we're going to go back in december take some money and we're gonna go back and buy some stuff so this was our day that we did on sunday um going to the open house at the antique store getting our goodie bag entering the raffles or giveaways um seeing santa eating some snack foods going by wendy's uh, making it through all the storms last the night before the storms today, some of the rain we had, and then when I came home, I went to sleep, <laughs> and that kind of thing. So, thank you for watching. Bye.